Aloha. This is the Green Lightning Mr. T. Last episode, um, we almost finished up this area. All that's left is this place. I am cruising through this game. So, it can feel very awkward at first, but after you played for a while, it is just your average inverted controls. Gosh dang it, why is it inverted? Down is up and up is down. Ah, I don't like it. Another play is basically like James Bond, <laughs> in my opinion. Like, you can strafe and all that. So, the thing about this place that took me ages to complete this area is the fact that you can actually open doors. <laughs> I didn't realize, I didn't read signs when I was like a kid, so the fact that concept that you can actually open these, like, was mind boggling. You just hit A on them. <laughs> really simple. But this allows you to get all these so secrets and such. Oh. Don't stand so close, I guess. Oh, and also you can sidestep while like this. Just just a couple feet. Oh, ah! <laughs> oh I kind of like slid down slid down the slid down the the slope because I was trying to head left at such a frivolous speed. Okay, just hit the thing, please. There we go. I was actually ho hoping to zoom in, but that's right, you can't zoom in in this place, you strafe instead. So that got me a lot. So this should get us the slightly sacred chamber. Or just at least one of the chambers. Oddly enough, if once you open both of them, you can enter I either of them in either order, and whichever one you open you go to first will be the slightly sacred chamber. Kinda weird. But that's just how it works. Alright, so we do want to go in here, definitely, because there's a Jinjo in here. So there's a, like, a zigzag, if I remember. Okay, and this is the last big area. So that means there's more than there's like 25 of these things if I remember right um but you only need up to 20 so there should be like a couple more in here yes there's one hmm ah here's one there we go there also might be like two by each door or something like that down there. Really sacred chamber. But first... So, watch. If I enter here, it'll end up being the slightly sacred chamber, if I rem remember right. Otherwise, I just... Yep, see? It's the slightly sacred chamber. Whichever one you go in first will be the slightly sacred chamber. Fun fact for the day. Now, there's something I like to do here. In each of these areas, there's going to be a golden egg pile, which gives you, like, infinite eggs for a short amount of time. I know, like, having infinite eggs for a short amount of time isn't really infinite eggs, is it? So, grab it, go. 
I always thought you move faster moving diagonally because you're... I don't know. I just thought... I oh, always like to think that. So I grabbed those just before entering here and it'll become quite handy in a sec. Yep, we'll have the game finished in no time. I love... They just keep break. It's so... It's non-existent, the wall. Everyone knows they're in a game. So here is the boss of this world. Every world has a boss. Mine god of target shooting. <laughs> Dart ridden doom, I love that. Okay, so, as you can see, this makes this guy a joke. And actually, did I play this in that one of that episode where I played the music? I think he did. Okay, that's it, I guess. Okay. Those things will break after a certain amount of darts, but you can always you, you can use them at the end if you have any left. So that was it. That's all we can do for now. Whew! I didn't expect to get to the first world like this in my first recording session. Although I, the, I never really expected anything out of this. I didn't expect not to finish anything, I guess, so whatever. Okay, I'm running in the walls. Okay, I'll just go this way. And we are out of here. So, the only thing about that's, I guess, different about something I was thinking for this game is that you can't just exit the level. You actually have to go to the world exit, which is made easy with warp pads anyhow. Also, the fact that we're just so close to it, just not height-wise. Whew. Just like that, we're done. Okay, so yes, just walk in. That's all I have to do. This, have I mentioned that this is actually on a Nintendo 64 yet? I don't know. I play. I actually do have a Nintendo 64. <laughs> of course I have. I said I played it as a kid. That, isn't that good enough? Okay. Hey, you know. Uh, I picked up a piece. Thought I knew where it went, but it did not. Okay. I know where you go at least. There we 
Apparently I did not follow my own advice correctly. <laughs> Although I did thought I knew where it was. Also enough Jiggies to attempt challenge three, so I will just go ahead and do that. Okay. I just smile every time that happens now, just because of... Ah, uh, Steve. What have you done? getting kicked out. Very well. Okay, um, I thought I did. Was I right about these signs? Do I have access to one of these things yet? Like, just one? Like, I should have access just to one, right? Oh, I guess I'll I guess I'll try again later. I might have access to one, but I'm not gonna go through the process. It's checking every single sign. I believe it's based off Jiggies. I could be just completely wrong. Okay. Now the fun part: finding out how to get to the next area. It's always a lot of these ones give me trouble. I feel like I keep just like bursting out with loudness, like I'm yelling or something. I keep bursting out in the noise. I don't know. I don't know if it's loud. I'm loud. What's this sign say? Ah, just useful tips. So if someone is just screaming for help, well, you will ignore. How many stuff do we have? Enough for one. Up here is the place you... Oh, there we are. Now I guess I'll go in. Um, Where you trade... Honeycomb pieces for health. 
They're, they're called honeycomb pieces, right? Yeah. That's honeybee. Because that would make your quest too easy. Empty honeycombs, yeah. And we got enough for two more, so... It goes up in price each time. It's one, then three, then five, then seven, then nine. And you can get five. Alright! So we can return once we have five. So, before we enter the new next area, let's learn another move! And that was it! We can now fire fire eggs! And a quick uh, tutorial on how to get access to new eggs. So we, we're gonna get a whole bunch of different eggs, all doing different stuff that will be useful for all sorts of things. So we can actually enter the next area by f shooting at that button. Well, that target really. It's hard to call it a button when it doesn't actually press in, it's just, you just hit it. I feel like it should like push in, but it doesn't, oh well. So I'm really only coming here early just so I can get the next move since it's so easy to do. I mean, we just have enough motes, notes actually, but that's what I mean. I mean, you can do this. It, it's really easy. Notes have, are not a problem. So we got gr green eggs. Grenades. Grenades. Something like that. I don't know. Also, a couple more notes. Right. Uh, I figure we don't have. Yeah, we don't have enough time to really start the next world, but. At least, uh. Oh, we can actually. I forgot, we can just go straight into the next, to the next world, technically. But I'm going to do the worlds in order. I will do th that much. I could mix it up, but then I don't have the moves from the previous level, so going to the next level, so what's the point? So that's just a little thing for the future. Okay, so next episode we shall get started on Glitter Gulch Mine! Yay! A lot of people don't like this one because it's it's kind of similar to the Crystal Cavern where it's confusing to navigate. But I will show you how to navigate it easily. This has been the Green Lightning Mr. T. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And to you I say, Aloha!